Hello everybody! Happy Friday! It's time for Facebook Friday and I don't know why but my iPad wants to update my Facebook app every Friday at 2 o'clock. <laughs> every Friday I open up my iPad and it's like please wait we have to update your Facebook app. You know there's seven days that this app could update but it chooses Fridays at 2 o'clock and it is taking forever! I don't know what it's doing. Anyhow I hope you guys have had a great week been a it's been a long week I don't know why when we have a um, holiday on a Monday it always feels like the week is extra long uh, but then I also feel like I can't get everything done I don't know I'm sure you guys have that problem I know when I was teaching those weeks when we had Monday off it always felt like oh, it was crazy it was long hello good I see you guys getting on good 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 my um, Facebook app is updating so we're just gonna I'm just gonna pretend like it's not happening and I'm gonna oh because on my phone I can only see two comments at a time which is not good oh good okay now it's done so this week we are playing with nuts about squirrels and the one thing I can tell you I discovered this week is that I didn't know how to spell squirrels <laughs> if you know me that's not shocking I am a terrible speller it goes way back to second grade <laughs> when I hated spelling. But anyway, now I know how to spell squirrels. It has two R's. If you see it misspelled on any of the things that I typed this week, just ignore it, please. Thank goodness for autocorrect, right? All right, let's see if I can find you guys. All right, good. I find, I'm finding you. Hello, hello, all of you jumping on. So does it feel like fall where you're at? It's not really fall yet. And I know somebody commented yesterday on one of my Instagram posts that fall was her favorite season too, even though she lived in Florida. Well, even though I'm in South Texas, which fall comes like for a week in December, that's about it. <laughs> I still love it. And I will say here this week, we've had just a little bit of like a, a snippet of, of, I don't even want to say cooler, but like less humid, hot weather in the morning, which feels like fall is really nice. So I was in the mood to do all fall. I told Carla on the post this week, wall to wall fall this week for sure. And next week, pumpkins, ne yes, the pumpkins, we're gonna do pumpkins next week. And then we're gonna get into Halloween. I tr was trying to push it off. I found some cute Halloween stuff at Sam's Club. I went to Sam's this morning. You guys shop at Costco or Sam's. I've always been a Sam's person. Costco's way too crowded for me. Uh, but I ran in there and, oh my gosh, they had some cute little Halloween stuff. So you know if you shop at Costco or Sam's, that holiday stuff you have to get way early because it's gone. So go to Sam's or Costco. There were little tubes of Halloween cute things like the little test tubes. And then there were some really cute Halloween lollipops. Anyhow, you'll see those in a couple weeks. Okay, um, the first thing I want to tell you guys, well, I'm going to wait to flip that over. Where do I want to start? I have so much to tell you. Okay, let's talk about the cutest Halloween class to go. So we all love this suite. Like everybody loves it. So, of course, the punch has gone on back order until November. So that, if you haven't ordered it, it's not going to help you this year, right? I mean, obviously it can help you next year. So um, I was really upset because that's my class for this month. Luckily, if you had already ordered the class to go kit with the bundle, I had been putting in orders like every few days because I knew it was on low inventory. So luckily, I have exactly I had ordered exactly for who had already purchased option number one with the punch. So I took option one off. And I was I'm only selling option two, the class to go without the, the punch and the stamp set. And by the way, guys, just so that you know, back orders are always an issue everywhere. Not it's not a stamping app exclusive problem. You know that. If you shop anywhere, you know that. Um Pampered Chef recently I was trying to buy some stuff for Pampered Chef. Everything I wanted was unorderable, basically. This was in the last couple months. But anyway, Stampin' Up has told us to even kind of be expecting more. So in the next year, back order situations, um, it's still related to COVID. Um, you know, a lot of stuff that comes from overseas, they're dealing with uh, shutdowns of, of manufacturing facilities. Um, there's a shipping container shortage. <laughs> I mean, so it is what it is. 
So just know that that's gonna happen and there's nothing we can do about it. It's not Stampin' Up's fault. It's not my fault. It's just the way of the world right now. So just be prepared. If there's something you cannot live without, get it, you know, like now. Um, I have no idea. Some things will never go on back order. And I don't know why that is. Maybe they were able to order the right amount, who knows? But just so that you know, that's the deal with this, right? So November 8th, which means you could still order it as of right now, but you won't get it before Halloween as of right now. Sometimes that changes. They get um, updated shipping, but I don't think on this it's gonna change. So I changed my class to go. If you haven't registered, you can still register, but I took option one off with a bundle. You can order option two, and if you don't even have the stamp set, you can get the stamp set. And if you look, the punch only punched out three of these things, right? The cat, the pumpkin, and the ghost. Now, y'all know how I feel about fussy cutting. <laughs> no problem do we want a punch or a die of course can we survive without it for a while sure so if you want to get this class you can still get it with the stamps and you know the thing that I was saying the skeleton I think is the cutest little critter in this class and he's not even part of the punch so you have to fussy cut him anyway so we have workarounds, right? When the punch goes on back order, we can't get it, we can work around. Now, if the stamps went on back order, that would be kind of different, right? But the stamps aren't on back order. The stamps are made here locally, well, not here locally, but in the United States. So they're much faster at getting those if they do run out. So just know we're going with the flow. If you want the cutest Halloween class to go, registration is still open. You can't order the part, the punch as part of the class. You can order the, you can order the stamp set. Um, you can, uh, the, the, these have already gone on back order as well. However, they're coming in pretty quickly, as is the ribbon. <laughs> we all like the same things, right? So we all buy it up real fast. Um, anyhow, there are, those are all due like within the next couple of weeks. So uh, that's right. Get out your snips, order your papers, or get out your papers. Paper snips are on back order too, I think. I mean, whatever. Use your old scissors if you don't have paper snips. Whatever. It works. You will still be able to do, make all six projects without the punch. Do you want the punch to match the stamp set? Yes, of course. Can you survive this one time without it? Yes. Okay. So, it is what it is. Anyhow, cute, super cute class. Um, if you want to register for this class, you have to email me for that link. It goes out every time I send an email out to my emailing list, to my emailing list. That sounded weird. The email list. What, Denise? It's now saying October 4th after my huge spiel. Just, I mean, I just spent like 10 minutes talking about the punch and you're telling me now it's showing October 4th. I literally looked at it today and it said November 8th and it just made me a liar because I said it wouldn't change. Okay. Well, as of right now, I can't get it. So I'm not adding it back into the class unless you message me and we talk about it. All right. If you're dying to have the punch. Anyhow, Denise, Denise is my eyes and ears and she, um, <laughs> she always helps me. Denise says, but don't bet on it. That's, that's right. It said, you know, first when it went on back order, it said November 1st. And then I was like, oh, that's just the computer. It was like last weekend. That's just the computer. Stampin' Up! will come in and they'll say, oh no, it's not, it's going to be sooner than that. Well, then it changed to later than that. So I thought, well, we're really, you know, like we're not going to get it. But I guess maybe because sometimes they can do like an air freight where they instead of ship, ship it on a ship, they ship it on a plane. So I don't know. Um, Shannon, there's a whole video um, showing the projects. If you look on today's blog post down at the bottom, there's a link. Click that. That'll go over to the whole Halloween um, class page and there's a video there where you can see all the projects okay okay Woo. all right so <laughs> that is that um club create can you guys see back here club create we have we are at record numbers in club create you guys i think you like it which is awesome um it is the biggest thing that i do um all month and it takes me at least a whole week to get it all done but it's fun I started cutting yesterday and uh, scoring. My daughter's gonna do a bunch of die cutting this weekend. Um, so the, 
I always say it wrong. Harvest Meadow. It's not Harvest Meadow. It's Meadow Nature's Harvest. Nature's Harvest. <laughs> I have it right here. Yeah, Nature's Harvest. Um, that one's gone. You can't get that one anymore. The new registration window for Club Create features... Ready? Sweet little stocking. We've got the little cute pets. The Corgi reminds me of my mom's dog. If Anita's watching, this reminds me of her dog. All kinds of cute stuff for next month. So Club Create October will feature the Sweet Little Stockings bundle. Um, let's all pray that none of this goes on back order before then. Um, I have a feeling that this stuff is probably one of the top sellers. We're going to make a little tag box. Um, you can register for Club Create between now and... Um, October, hello, October 7th. I, it's, I, I get confused with the months, especially at the beginning. Um, it is $39 a month, includes around $20 in new product, plus your five projects, PDF and a video. Hello, Pepper. Um, and that includes your shipping. Uh, you also will have options to add on the bundle and all of that, um, which, which um, I will send the email at the end of the month. I'm reading Donna. Donna says, I wish they had schnauzers. I know, Donna, but they had that last year, you know, the pet's paper. So I guess we have to just, we have to let the other dogs shine too. <laughs> anyway, Club Create, um, tab at the top of my blog says Club Create, click on it. The, Pepper says hello. That's called the schnauzer sing, apparently, if you hear that. She does it in every video I make. They like yawn and do this like screechy weird thing to get attention. She does it every time I make a video. Um... What was I saying? I can't remember. Club Create. There was something else I was going to say. I don't know. I lost my train of thought. Oh, the PDF with the video. And the video was long this month. I think it's like 45 minutes. Um, it is embedded within the PDF. And that is available in my PDF store right now for all of you that don't get the kit. Um, okay. Now... Let's see. Do I want to flip the camera over? I'm going to do that in just a second. Um, hey, I was going to try to do this before I went live and I forgot. It does sound like a door squeaking, Donna. Good. I always wonder what it sounds like on y'all's end. Like, what do people think that sound is when I'm making a video? I always try to acknowledge it. That's my dog. Um, All-Star Tutorial. I have not sent this out one time and it's already the 10th. I'm going to set this on my computer today and when I'm done. If you have put in an order in September, you're getting this for free if your order is over $50. I already sent it to all my subscribers. They always get it on the first. It's the first thing I do when I get in my office on the first every month. They get it for, um, in, their in, in their inbox. Um, it is $15 if you want to buy it. It has uh, 12 tutorials all featuring the Sweet as a Peach. No, you're a peach. I, all these names that they have, why don't they just call it all the same? Like everything, like the stamp set should be called the same as the paper, as the sweet. The peaches, you guys know what I'm talking about. Everything in here um, is a tutorial using these products. This is mine's little peach crate this month. Um, so the PDF has the measurements, the supply list, and a link to the videos. Um, 12 different designers. I did one. Um, the others were done by all different designers. So I'm going to set this over here. I know you guys are like, you haven't sent me my PDF yet. I'm behind. I am behind. Last one, I was so good. I stayed on top of it. You get it for free when you spend $50 with me, okay? Either spend $50 online or within a class usually. Like if you um, get option one of a class, you'll get that. Um, you can get it for free or um, you can buy it in my PDF store for $15. I was just thinking, I, I have a hard time remembering to email it. So if you ever think that I owed it to you and then you didn't get it, just email me. By the way, speaking of email, I had somebody look at my email this last week, somebody who's working on my website, and he thinks that there's a little like code missing in my email that tells other people's emails that my email is safe. And so he told me to call GoDaddy, that's who hosts my email. So I have called them twice this week, been on hold, on hold, on hold, on hold, talk to somebody, on hold, talk to somebody, on hold, disconnected, both times. Half an hour the first day, 45 minutes the second day. I'm going to get through. I'm going to get them to fix it if I can just get them to not disconnect me. They're a technology company, but yet they keep disconnecting me. 
Anyhow, just for those of you that aren't getting my emails, I'm working on it. Okay, thank you. Thanks. I uh, I don't remember where I got this top. Somewhere online. Okay, so it's celebration. You guys know where's my celebration catalog. Um, right now, to the end of September, you get something free with every fifty dollars you spend. You also can buy the starter kit in through the rest of this month. You it is uh, ninety nine dollars free shipping. You pick out one hundred twenty five dollars in product. Anything you want in the holiday catalog, the annual catalog, or the clearance rack. And then you pick one of these bundles to add on. So that's potentially like um, close to $200 value for $99. Then you get a 20% instant income, or you could call it a discount if you're buying from yourself, um, or you would make 20% off what your friends buy from you. Um, you're part of my team. You get my PDFs for free. We have um, monthly meetings. We have a Facebook group. We have trainings. We have all kinds of things. If you are interested in this, I will have a link here. When we are done, I'm going to update the links, and you can check it out. Please feel free to ask me any questions that you have about that. Um, okay, I'm getting down to the last things. I wanted to turn the camera around to show you this, so let me do that. We have a new kit in our kits collection. Okay. We have a new kit. Many of you have been emailing me, asking me about the kits that are at the front of the holiday catalog. You know, Stamina Up changed their kit program this year. And so the kits aren't in the catalog. The kits are at, well, you know, there isn't, you can't order a kit from the catalog. Where's the beginning of my catalog? Right here. Um, all the kits are online. And so when this catalog came out, there were there was this whole page of kits and everybody's like, oh my God, it's so cute. Um, when, when are they coming out? Well, we didn't know. And so we've been waiting and waiting and waiting. Finally, this one has been released online. It's $19. If you guys haven't seen our kits yet, they come in a paper pumpkin box. Um, it's not an actual paper pumpkin box, but it's that size. And uh, this one, $19, it has really cute cards and tags, got some tags which are part of the cards. It has these little die cut people. These are like when you just want the easy button, you know? Uh, it's just easy, look, really nice envelopes. You get a stamp, a little stamp set. Wishing you peace, joy, and love now and throughout the coming year. Merriest Christmas to you and season's greetings. And then you've got some stars, those are snowflakes, those are cute. You've got some gold stars, you get a block. You get a stamp and spot and some gold and some dimensionals. All of that for $19. Now these are while supplies last. I don't know if any of our kits have even sold out. They just don't want, they don't, they're not gonna have a back order situation with our kits. So they're saying while supplies last. I suspect these will be around for a while. Uh, but if you are looking for a kit to do this is a pretty good one it's pretty easy and it's really cute you make eight cards and look they've really upped the directions they're in color they're nice uh, let's see what else was I going to tell you you can order as many as you want these would be great if you're going camping you want to take a craft project with you or if your grandkids are coming over or something or you just like to do kits that is the new kit I actually paid my daughter this summer to put some of the kits together our new kits and I still haven't showed you, but I will show you. Today we've got a lot of stuff, so I'm gonna wait, but those kits are really good. And speaking of kits, um, Paper Pumpkin, let's see, what is today? The 10th, tomorrow is the last day, right? You guys correct me. Tomorrow's the last day you can subscribe to Paper Pumpkin um, for September, and it is the pumpkin themed kit and it is it's they're all little treats and you can either make them halloween treats or you can make them non-halloween treats i think they're like little pumpkins or apples or something and you have the option so if you're not a halloween person you don't have to do halloween but if you are a halloween person you can um the thing that i'm the most excited about is that this box there's directions then to turn this box into a teeny tiny little wheelbarrow judy today's the last day i thought it was the 11th Today, oh, you guys know way more than I do. Today, okay. Thank you for correcting me. Today, why the new the new one is the cup? Why did I think it was eleventh? I don't know. Anyway, do it today. Subscribe. 
Um, so you can get your cute little wheelbarrow pumpkin kit. I'm going to make mine and put on display. It's going to be very cute. Um, and then they gave us a little sneak peek of, I guess, uh, October, November Christmas kits coming. This is a great time to be a subscriber to Paper Pumpkin because you're not going to want to miss any of the holiday stuff. Okay. Prizes. We are down to the end. Uh, well, not the end, the end of clearing my desk. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> we haven't even started. Thank you, everyone who corrected me. It's the 10th. The 10th is the last day. Today. Today is the 10th. Um, Tracy Horton, Kimberly Snow, thank you for sharing my video last week. I randomly chose you two to be the winners of the Knit Together background stamp. I love background stamps. Um, Tracy, I have your mailing address. Kimberly, I don't think I'd have yours, so please message me, okay? This week, I've got like a double prize. I actually, my prize cabinet's overflowing, so I've got to kind of up my ante a little bit. Um, Season of Fun is the host, one of the host sets, and I hate to use that word host because it's a stamp and reward set. You get it, you can choose it if you spend over $150 as one of your stamp and reward choices. Um, and that's the only way you can get it. Look at that, how cute that is. How cute. I love this stamp set so much and I hesitate to use it because I know not everybody can, can spend that much to get this set, but I love it so much. Um, I don't know, I gotta figure out a way to incorporate that. But anyway, look, I also found, Denise, look, I found a couple of extra ribbon chairs, not from this time, from um, the annual catalog. So I'm gonna throw in a couple of ribbon chairs with each of those, or one ribbon share with, with each of those. So I will give away both of these next week um, to two different people who share the video on Facebook. Make sure you comment that you shared so I know that you shared, and I will have those winners next week. All right, I've cleared my desk. I even, I have a cabinet over here on this side that is usually like packed. I have my big industrial paper cutter and I just throw junk on there because it's kind of in the corner. But today I completely cleared it off and I have all my Facebook Friday stuff over there. And I don't know why I didn't think of that before because that's a way better use of that, that cabinet. So I'm excited. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna be a little more organized. Maybe, we'll see. Okay, oh, and I forgot to put this down. Didn't I print that? The host code? Okay, well, hold on. Um, so Facebook Friday, you guys, I pick. Let me bring my, my computer over here so I can do this while I'm talking to you. Every week, and I printed that out to talk to you about paper. I mean, look, and it does say se September 10th. You know, don't, don't rely on me for dates. <laughs> I am the kind of person that gets things done as soon as I hear about them. When I was in college, if we got assigned a project, I went home and worked on it that day, even though it would not be due, due to the next month. So I never know when things are due because I get them done way early. But I know some of you are not like that. Today is the last day to subscribe to Paper Pumpkin. Um, let me print out this host code. I thought I printed it out. So, um... I can't do two things at once. Let's see, let me open this. Um, and I'm gonna print this, so you guys are gonna hear the printer. I could have swore I printed this. I don't know where it went. Um, what am I trying to say? I got a text and now I'm distracted. All right, Facebook Friday, that's what I'm trying to say. I pick one product, usually a bundle or a stamp set, and we make three projects. So that's what we're doing this week, Nuts About Squirrels. I liked this set before I started using it, and now I love it. These two are cute, and it's fun. Um, the things that I came up with, I really love. They're super fallish, so I think you guys are going to like them. If you like today's projects, I will send you the Make and Takes for free with a minimum $35 order. Um by Monday at midnight, okay? And if your order is $50, you will also get that PDF for free. If I can ever remember to <laughs> email it, which I do, I promise. Um, you're gonna get the make and takes for free. So Monday at midnight's a cutoff. You gotta get your order in between now and then. You can order anything that you want. It doesn't have to be this, um, but the make and takes will be these projects. Uh, if you bump your order to 50, you'll get a celebration product for free and the PDF for free. 
If your, if your order is over $150, don't use the host code because you're getting Stampin' Rewards and I'll still send you the free making tips, okay? Now over at my blog, pinkbucker.com, you'll find this PDF under the third photo. It has all the products listed and the measurements, which this one has a lot, and the three things that I talked about, the links to those. And um, the make and takes, I cut them <coughs> I cut them on Tuesdays and mail them on Wednesdays as long as I have everything. This week, I didn't mail them till Thursday because I didn't have enough ribbon. Um, but they, they ship typically Wednesday or Thursday and hopefully get to you within the week. This is what they look like. You will need the stamps and ink. I don't stamp anything. Um, this week, there are no die cuts, so everything that is die cut, I will die cut for you, except for one of the card has little presents from another stamp set. I can't stamp anything, and that's against Stampin' Up! policy, so you'll have to use what you have, um, to do that. But I'll have, uh, er oh, and there's one other thing I'm not die cutting for you this week. I'll show you in a little while. But anyway, it comes like this. I make a little thank you tag, and I mail it to you in the mail as a thank you. It's kind of like my card class that I used to have free, and the cards were always free, with an order. All right, let's get started. Let me, let me make some room here. Let, let me see what you guys are saying. Oh, Tracy, good, I'm glad you're here. You're welcome, thank you. <laughs> you're so good at time management. Yvonne, you know, I don't know if it's that I'm good with time management or if I'm just, I'm kind of, I've told you guys before, I'm always in a hurry. You know, like, I'm always like, I got to get this done fast. I got to, I want to get this done, da, 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 because I have so many things that I want to do. I think that's why. Um, now, my mom works really good under pressure. I don't know if she's here. So she doesn't like, she, she, like, if she waits closer to the deadline, she can get it done. If I wait on something closer to the deadline, then it's not going to get done because I, I like panic. Everybody, everybody's different, right? Okay, so let's get started. We're going to make a birthday card first. And I will tell you that there are a lot of designer series papers that we have that have fall colors. So I used a variety of papers this week. Um, on, this on this card, we're using the Harvest Meadow designer series paper in the back, those two. Nope, that one. And then this one and this one are from the Beauty of the Earth designer series paper from the annual catalog. So those combined, you know, the thing about Stampin' Up! is that our colors, if it says Bumblebee, and it's in this pack of paper and that pack of paper and an ink pad, they're all going to coordinate. And that's what we've done here. So Bumblebee um, cardstock, Bumblebee designer series paper, Bumblebee ribbon. That's what Stampin' Up's known for. All right, let's start with our squirrels. And um, this, these are two-step stamping, which means uh, you, have, you stamp the outline and then you stamp what I call the fill-in. Some people do it the other way. They stamp the fill in and then they stamp the, um, the outline last. So you can do whatever you want. I feel like with these, um, I'm better with doing the outline first. Now, I don't know if Donna's here. I think I saw her. Yeah. Oh yeah. Donna, I saw you earlier. Fussy cutting all day. I'm sorry. <laughs> There's no dies for these guys. So we're going to fussy cut. Um, you could always punch them with a circle or cut them out with a circle if you didn't feel like fussy cutting, okay? With two-step stamping, you want to use your... Oops, I got the wrong one out. You want to use your stamparatus. I found... Now, I've done a lot of stamping in my life, and I can tell you that I attempted to stamp these guys without the stamparatus, and I could not get it lined up. I tried three or four times, and then I, I finally gave in and got my stamparatus out, and it was perfect. So another thing I want to point out to you that always kind of trips me up a little bit. When you get a new photopolymer stamp set, the stamps are really sticky. Um, not just on the back side, but on the front side. And if you put it down on your paper, see, it kind of pulls the paper up. The first couple of times, it can even pull your paper up so that it's, you know, not in the right place anymore. So one thing I recommend is to take them, you know, and just kind of like pat it with your hand or on your shirt to, to kind of remove some of that sticky, you know, like you do with a sticker. Also, you can um, ink it and stamp it on a piece of paper a couple of times, clean it. That, re that um, releases some of that sticky too. When you're doing two-step stamping, you need them to be exactly where you put them so that they'll line up. 
That's why I'm telling you this. So soft suede for the outline first. Very cute. And did you see what I almost did? I almost just picked him up, but he's got ink on him, so clean him off. If y'all weren't watching, that's what I would do. That's why I have ink all over me all the time. But you do want to clean, clean it before you um, grab it because you're going to get ink on you. Now, I'm going to line this up. I have to pull it way down. Sorry. What I have found that is that you want to get their little legs lined up, their little ears, and their tail. And I can't get my head in here. Okay, hold on. I'm going to be like my friend Ann. She doesn't mind putting her head in the camera. And that always makes me giggle. The other part of the stickiness is that it will stick to your fingers as you wiggle it to try to get it in the right place. So get your take your pick tool. For some reason, it sticks less to the take your pick tool or your scissors than it does my fingers. All right, so you lay it down right within where it's supposed to be. And this is where you don't want it to pick up your paper. So you got to be careful. Let's make sure it's still in the right spot. And then this time we're going to use crumb cake. Donna says she literally stamped these 25 times before you got the hang of it. Yeah, they give yourself some grace. Look what I just did. Give yourself some grace. Um, you know, practice. And one thing I wanted to do was show you guys how much better uh, ink spots are to use with your Stamparatus. But I don't have any that were, I needed to make one for cinnamon cider, soft suede, and crumb cake, and I didn't have any that weren't already inked. So if you order our uninked ink spots, you can take your ink refill and fill them, and they're little, and you don't get all that ink all over your plate. So I, I, did, it, I did it twice because I didn't think it was dark enough the first time, um, and look how cute he is. You can also color these with your Stampin' Blends if you want. That's fun. All right, so now we're going to stamp the little presents. And the presents are from the um, Sweetest Little Stocking. Sweetest Little Stocking? Sweet Little Stocking. Um, the one I just showed you, that's Club Create for, the, for next month. And... Uh, where are my blends? They must be on a different tray. Uh, this set is really good. The dyes on the sweet little stocking set are so fun. Um, there's that like tag, but there's also presents and uh, all the little, the little animals, really cute. Okay, so the paper we're using is this. And so I pulled out Stampin' Blends um, to kind of coordinate with the paper. This is Mary Merlot. Um, which we don't have a Stampin' Blend. So Cherry Cobbler is pretty close. So I'm gonna color these with um, Cherry Cobbler. And I'm using the light Cherry Cobbler just because the dark is really dark. The dark Cherry Cobbler probably would look more like Mary Merlot than this, but it works. All right, so we're going to do that, and then um, the bow on this one. Thank you all for the skunk um, suggestions last week. Gave me tons of good skunk suggestions. Um, luckily, we have not been revisited. Um, and luckily, because we haven't done anything. I ordered several things, and I haven't put anything out there. Um, let's see, what am I doing? This is light soft suede. But uh, we, we uh, that little baking soda, um, hydrogen peroxide, and dish, Dawn dish detergent worked really well. They do not stink. And they got groomed this week and uh, totally gone, which is different than the previous time. So thank you for all the advice. Hopefully that will be the last time I ordered mothballs. I ordered skunk deterrent from Amazon and I ordered uh, my downline. Janie sent this electric thing. It, it like sends out electric pulses or something that came. We just got to get out there and put it out there. So 
I hope that is the end of the skunks. Now, let's see. We're gonna cut these out. Remember when I said I had a whole lot of room? Suddenly I don't have a whole lot of room. I love the blends too, Kimberly. Oh, Kimberly, you're here. You won the door prize um, from last week. Hopefully you saw that. I love the blends and I will tell you a little secret. Well, I don't know if, I'm, if I should tell you this secret or not. I have been working on my million dollar stamp set. You know, when you sell a million dollars, you get to design a stamp set. And we, I approved the final, I'm looking for my mini cut and boss. I approved the final design this week and I can't wait to get it, to use some Stampin' Blends and some other products with it. It's gonna be so cute. I hope you guys love it too. I'm looking for my dies. Did I take them out and put them? I did, I put them in this right here. But it will not come out until, not this spring, next spring. <laughs> it's a really long lead time on those. So, wah, wah, it's a long time. And this, uh, this March is my million dollar retreat that I get to go to the home office with my husband. And then the following spring, I believe that's when my stamp set will be out. Oh my gosh, I can't get this lined up. Okay, should I use post-it tape? Or am I just gonna go? I think we're just gonna go with it. The next two projects are kind of long, so I need to like step it up. Cause I'm already, I'm already way late than I, later than I should be, I think. Okay, so we got the two gifts. And let's move that, let's do that. Now we're ready. Oh no, we haven't fussy cut. Ah. Sorry, Donna, fussy cutting. Where are my scissors, my little paper snips? Denise, are the paper snips on um, the back order list or are they on low inventory or have they come back? Will you check for me? Um, those usually come in pretty quick because they order lots of them, like thousands and thousands of them. All right, so I stamped this guy on basic white, obviously, and I'm going to just stay on the outside outside of his drawn, you know, the outline line, <laughs> the outline line. Go all the way around. Now, what could you do if you didn't want a fussy cut? You could punch or use a die. You could use, you know, you could get a rectangle, stitched rectangle die and stamp them on that. That would work. And we're just gonna go around and around. Oh, clean recordings of these. Um, I have made, there are short little recordings of each of these projects up on YouTube. They should be live now. They are linked under each photo on my blog post. I will tell you that I, there's also gonna be a bonus project on a Monday that involves a pumpkin spice Twinkie. I'll show you at the end, but that's not coming out till Monday. And I filmed all three of these projects and then filmed that one. And that one was a disaster. I kept messing up, things were falling, things were falling off the stamparatus. I mean, it was just ridiculous. The camera shut down at one point. Ugh. So I'm not sure how good that video is gonna be. <laughs> I should have probably just started over from the beginning, but after filming all those videos, I didn't wanna do that. But I think you'll be able to get the gist of it. You've been waiting since July for a paper steps, Bonnie. Come on, are you kidding? Denise tells us the week of December 20th. That is, they must be coming on the same boat as the turtle punch because Sandy emailed me today, said, when is my turtle punch coming? And I looked in September, the week of September 20th, and she's been waiting on that since July. So that must be one of those things that is, coming on the slow boat. It was waiting for a container, a container to be put in. Um, this is that Beauty of the Earth paper cut with the contoured scallop dies. And we're gonna stamp 
the happy birthday. Let me, I gotta pull it down so I can see what I'm doing. Down here, and I'm gonna stamp it kind of on the right side like that. And let me trim this. We're just gonna trim it. I want it to be about a half of an inch wide. Okay, so like that. And then I'm gonna take my little cute little banner pick a punch, pick a banner punch, whatever it's called. It has a weird name. And I'm gonna punch both ends. Okay, and now, oh, I forgot the ribbon. Forgot the ribbon. Let's see, can I get it through there? Oh yeah, no problem. No problem. See, I don't put a whole lot of dimensionals. Like some people I know, <clears throat> Bruno, he's probably not watching, but he likes to use a lot of dimensionals. And I know there's some of you out there too who like to use a lot of dimensionals. You don't need a lot. They are really good at sticking. I just used three, one at the top, two at the bottom. And lucky for us, I could slip my ribbon right through there. My favorite bumblebee gingham ribbon. We're using this twice this week. Uh, you found the pumpkin spice Twinkies, Peggy, at Walmart or Target? Haven't tried it yet, though. So I found them at Target. My made the mistake of going to Target with my teenage daughter. We bought all kinds of junk, including those. I wasn't going to get them, and she was, like, begging for them, which I didn't even realize she liked pumpkin spice. But we got them, and she, I think I told you guys last week, she was like, oh, I'm so lucky that my mom has a job where she needs to buy Twinkies. <laughs> I was like, yeah, girl, you are lucky. All right, there we go. We got a cute little squirrel. I think this one's a female. She looks like a girl to me. And we're going to take our tall present, put it back here like that, and the short present. And Elaine, is that you with the dimensionals? I know, they're just great, but really, you don't need that many. All right, and then stick that one right there, and boom, you got it. Happy birthday. This is for your fall birthday people. Who has a fall birthday? My mom has a fall birthday. Two of my daughters have a fall birthday. Well, Ellie's is in December, so I guess that's more winter. So now I've got fall birthday cards ready to go. All right, good. I'm glad you guys like it. That little squirrel guy is super cute. All right, let me clean up and let's move on to the next one. Now, the next one, I always tell you guys that I, where did my tray go? That I am going to die cut everything for you, right? When I send you the free make and takes. Well, this week we have an exception because we're going to make a mask that has a whole bunch of leaves cut out of it. And if I were to make that mask for everybody, it would literally take me days. Okay, so I'm going to show you here that show you that here in just a sec. Let me get all that over here. Move this out of the way. Do I need that? Yep, I do. I wanted to make a fall background. So I looked at our masks. We didn't really have anything fall. I looked at our background stamp. Eh, it wasn't really anything I wanted. So I said, you know what? I'm going to make my own background. And that's what I did. So I got my beautiful leaves dies. That's this one. Remember we used this one? It's got some things still in it. We used this one a few weeks ago, this big one. But I used these little ones. I, I tried it with the big ones, um, the other uh, leaf dies that we had. And I those would work, but I think I liked the smaller ones better because it, gave, it gives you more room. But you could use whatever you have. So anyway, if you're getting... The make and takes for me, you're gonna to have to make your own background mask, okay? <laughs> because four little dies, I cut them like five times each. All right, so if this is a beautiful leaves die, and then look at your dies too. If you don't have leaves, you could even do circles. How cute would different size circles be? Really cute. And if you do fall colors, it's gonna look like fall. So let's make our background. I could see my blending brushes have already landed on my white paper over here. And we're going to use my favorite um, post-it tape. 
who's gotten their post-it tape. Let's see. I've already got it. This is from yesterday doing my clean recording. Let's see. I'm going to do, I'm going to put a little bit of adhesive. I've made my basic white piece bigger than it needs to be. Okay. It's about, I don't know, five by six or something because I want, I want to be able to cut off the edge. If there's, you know, the tape shows up or there's a weird leaf somewhere, I can cut it down to how I want it. So make your base piece a little bit bigger. You could even just do, you know, four and a fourth by five and a half because you're going to cut it down to either four and five, four by five and a fourth, or you could do three and three fourths by five to cut it down. So I have the white. I just cut the mask from white cardstock. I use thick white cardstock, but I don't even think that's necessary. You use regular, you can use scraps, whatever. And I'm going to start with Daffodil Delight ink. Um, you know what? Go click on today on my blog. I linked the post-it tape on Amazon and it was on sale last night when I got the link. I linked it today on today's blog post from Amazon. Okay. Has anybody ever found the post-it tape in a store? I always just order everything from Amazon, so I don't know. I mean, I would think maybe the office supply stores. All right, so I'm doing Daffodil Delight, and notice I'm going from bottom right to left top corner. And I want it to be darker down here at the bottom than at the top. Okay, now I'm going to move on to my favorite most unused color, Mango Melody. I love Mango Melody, but I don't, I don't use it. I use it when I need a bright orange and I use it in the fall. It's more like a, you know, a, in our brights family, it's the bright orange as opposed to our pumpkin pie. So I'm gonna do a little bit more of that, stopping kind of to leave those lighter. Um, these in the middle, will be kind of our middle ground, middle darkness. And then we're gonna move to pumpkin pie. Okay. And just a little bit down here in the corner. I'm not gonna go very far up. All right. Now, you could leave it like that, but why would you leave it like that when we've got other things we could do to it? This is the Gorgeous Leaf stamp set. I'm using the texture stamps. I'm using this one right here. And I'm going to take Pumpkin Pie and I'm going to stamp full strength and then stamp off over here. So it's darker and then lighter, darker, lighter. And you will have to push pretty hard down on your mask to get them. Sometimes see how it just barely goes in there. We'll do a little bit like that. And then we're gonna do some soft suede. Actually, yeah, we'll do soft suede. I think I actually flicked soft suede stamp and blend on my original, but you can achieve the same effect as this. Eileen, you found it in a different section of the store, not with the post-it pads. Really, at, at the office supply store? I love the office supply store, especially when I was teaching. I loved it. <laughs> okay, there we go. Now it looks kind of funky. Don't worry. It will look good. It will look good, I promise. I am going to take, let's do cinnamon cider dark. And let's flick some of that. I just want these leaves. I have a tree in my backyard who thinks it's time to, shed its fall leaves in August every year. So <laughs> I have a tree that just has a few leaves now left and they all look like this. You know, they start to get those black spots because they're shriveling up and dying. The tree doesn't like, the tree's beautiful from um, March to through June. And then suddenly in July, it's like, okay, wait a minute. This is way too hot for me. I'm getting rid of my leaves. Every single year on the dot, same date. Wink of Stella, I've squirted a little bit on my block. I'm going to add some sparkle to our dying leaves. <laughs> because, you know, why not? 
Now, another thing that you could do that I thought about afterwards, you know that background stamp that I just gave away to Tracy and Kimberly, you could stamp that on top of here. It would add some texture to your, your leaves. That would be fun. Okay, I think I've gone and done enough. You guys can see it. It's a mess, but I like it. That's how we want it. We're gonna let that dry and we're gonna bring back our Stamparatus. And this time our squirrel is a little more complicated because he's holding an acorn. It's just a little more complicated. So this is where, when I was making videos yesterday where the wheels just completely <laughs> came off. Sometimes my camera, you guys who have an iPhone, do you have this problem? My camera, and maybe it's because I just make a ton of videos, and my, my phone is over two years old now. But still, it should work. It'll just shut down in the middle of making a video. Just completely shut down. And then I will <clears throat> go over to my photos to see where the video stopped. And the video's not even there. Let me tell you, when you're making a 45-minute video and it does that, it makes you want to have a glass of wine at 9 a.m., <laughs> Um, but then if you come back 30 minutes later, that partial video will be there. Why? Why does it do that? I don't know, but it makes me very mad. And that's what happened to me yesterday. And I was not happy. And then of course, that's when Pepper came in. She was like, rah, 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 rah. I had to take a break. I walked away from it for a while. Okay. We're using the bigger squirrel that's holding the acorn. And we're going to do the outline in soft suede. We're going to do the same colors we did last time. Soft suede. Okay. Wipe them off. Thanks for the share. I appreciate you guys sharing the video. Those of you that said you shared. Thanks, Karen. Um, Catherine, you've had that problem. So did you get a new phone? Or is it just your current phone stopped doing that? You know, I have like a, a, a weird... Um, situation. Not very many people record videos on their phone four or five times a week. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I guess maybe you could be recording your kids or whatever, but see how that's stuck? So now I got to make sure. Let me look at it. Yep. Okay. It's still in the right place. I need to get a new phone, I guess. My pictures are looking kind of foggy, you know, like steamy. <laughs> Like maybe there's moisture in the camera, but I'm waiting. Let's see, I, you know a new one's coming out soon. All right, crumb cake. Let's do it again. Crumb cake two times. Hard set your phone, Lois. You mean like wipe it off? Like wipe it out? Like factory reset? That's scary. That probably would fix things because it's probably some kind of little weird software something okay so now this little tiny bottom of the acorn is very sticky so i'm gonna do like surgery i'm gonna stick it down there's a little place there let's see there's a little place there where his hand is i should have left those on the i should have left those on the plate because the next project we're doing the same thing all right, so now we're gonna do that in cinnamon cider over here. New phone, bought a new one when you, yeah, I know. I, I think they do that to us on purpose, right? They're like, oh, you had your phone for two years, it's now paid off, time for you to buy a new one. Your phone is gonna stop working correctly. Um, Oh, Michelle, your have a hoot dies just arrived. Oh, good, Michelle. I'm glad to hear it. I um, made a few mistakes with the BOGO sale. And y'all, you, all of y'all who I messed up, y'all have been so gracious and kind. Um, there were a few packages that went to the wrong address, 140-something packages. So I guess I was, you know, oops, that slipped. I guess I could be forgiven. Um, and then Michelle and um, somebody else, I their dyes were mixed up. I had bundled the wrong Halloween dyes with the wrong Halloween set. So we got it worked out. I'm glad. Thank you for your patience. Uh, 
I just, that sick feeling when I read that I've sent something to the wrong place, which happens. I have, there we go. Okay, so we did the acorn. Um, I did soft suede, cinnamon cider, and um, crumb cake, okay? Um, all right, so now I'm talking and I'm not telling you what I'm doing. Let me tell you what I'm doing and then I'll come back to what I was gonna say if I can even remember what I was gonna say. Let me stamp the sentiment. The problem for me, you guys, is I use stamps.com. And so if I ever use an address for somebody, it's stored in there. And sometimes I don't go double check if that address matches the other address that you use to order your Stamping Up products. And it bites me in the rear sometimes because you've changed your address and I didn't check. So that happens. That happens. That's why I have to make extras of things. Unfortunately, with BOGO, you can't really have extras, or, you know, doubles. But we've gotten it worked out so far. One, um, somebody, their punch, their eye didn't seal their envelope very good, and their punch was missing from the envelope. That was very upsetting. So I ordered her a new punch. I always will make it right, you guys. I always make it right, somehow. We're all human, right? We all screw up. All right, I'm going to fussy cut this guy. He's a little more complicated fussy cutting than the other. He, um, They both have these little whiskers that I can't decide if I want to just cut them off. I'm just going to cut it off. I'm not going to go around it. I mean, come on. Nobody's going to be able to tell that I cut his little whiskers off on the right side. Or you could go around them. Okay? But if, if you're like Donna and she doesn't want to fussy cut... And she's doing it because I told her she had to. You have my permission to cut off the, <laughs> the, the whiskers. And can we just talk for a minute about how cute these squirrels are, but in real life they are such pests. They're so cute. When we first moved in this house, I was like, I'm going to buy a squirrel feeder. And I'm gonna, it's going to be like a little corn cob thing where he can sit there and eat it. And then I did. And then he told all his friends. And they came and they destroyed everything. <laughs> I couldn't have a bird feeder. He was just like all up on everything. He and his friends were everywhere. They're little pests. But they're cute. They're cute pests. All right. So see how I'm having to get into these nooks and crannies? That's why you need a little pair of scissors. I don't know if my mom's here. Donna, you're getting better. Good. See, I'm, I'm forcing you into the, the fussy cutting submission. It is, it, it, it does come with practice and you will find it's kind of relaxing. When I was a kid, when I was very young, we lived in a rental house while our house was being built. And my mom started feeding this squirrel and it got so tame that it would come like to her hand. And I remember as a kid thinking that was so cool. I don't know if my mom's on here. Now that makes me like want to throw up. That is scary. <laughs> she was like the squirrel whisperer. All right, so I, I stamped the nuts about you here just on basic white. I don't know what the measurements are. I mean, if you want to get specific with that one, you see I just chopped, chopped, chopped around it. It's probably one by two. Okay, and I'm just going to take it and stick it in here, punch the end. All right, now let's bring back our background. Let's make sure I don't lose those. I hate them in real life. They eat the flowers and plants. They do, right? We have one that's always running on the roof. Irene, me too. In here. I know, it's so annoying. Okay, look. Ta-da! Isn't that pretty? It looked weird and messy like that, but when you have masked it off... It's so pretty. And you know, think about your other, um, your other shapes that you have. It doesn't have to be leaves. Circles, like I said, or hearts, or I don't know, stockings. You know, just think about all the different things you can use to make your own mask. All right, I need to cut that a little bit more. Let me scoop that in just a little bit more. So I'm gonna cut it down to four by five and a fourth, all right? So it's just matted on our card front. We're using a Daffodil Delight card base this time. 
The reason I'm turning it over is because I've got that adhesive right here and it's sticking to my paper trimmer. All right, there we go. Now we're gonna put a circle, we're gonna cut a circle in it so that our little squirrel's like he's coming out of the hole. And this circle is the two inch circle, layering circle die. And I'm just gonna do it kind of down here in the bottom right corner. Oh no, chewed a bunch of wires at your cabin now and power upstairs. Oh no, uh, the squirrels did. Yeah, they can get in your attic and cause lots of problems. Oh, yikes. We've had that in one of our houses. I can't remember when that was. I think it was maybe our first house. I remember my husband taking care of it <laughs> with a um, BB gun or a pellet gun. I know some of you are probably appalled, but that's how we handle things down here in Texas. All right. <laughs> Dimensionals. Look, four, one in each corner, and then I'm going to put kind of one on each side of that circle to make sure that it's lifted up off the um, front of our card. And then I have cut out a branch. This is from the Harvest Meadow, Meadow Harvest, Nature's Harvest, <laughs> Nature's Harvest. They're actually called the Harvest Dies now that I'm thinking about it. Um, little branch, soft suede. I'm just gonna put a little bit. Come on, don't, don't make a mess, don't make a mess little bit of ink and we're going to put that we're going to kind of slide it into the circle it's coming out and now our little guy we'll put him on with dimensionals this stamp set is adorable even though the um squirrels are annoying uh oh let's have it go up a little bit more stampin up the stampin up artist can even make nuisance critters cute all right now here's some more paper des designer series paper this is called i can never remember the name i always always want to call it the tasteful textiles that's not it it's in good taste in good taste designer series paper all the the little textures and i'm just going to cut them both at an angle they're one by two and half by half an inch by two and i'm just going to layer these up here up here like this, overlapping a little bit. We're gonna put our nuts about you. Little flag right there in the middle. And then last but not least, somewhere on this table, there is some twine. Somewhere, 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 right? Oh, it's not right here. Hmm. Well, somewhere there should be twine. And I would put a twine bow, but I guess we're not. I don't know. It's gone. All right. There you have it. A twineless card. What do you guys think? Cute, right? It's fun. If you want to get artsy and make your own background, do it. It's worth the work. So cute. Let's look at the ones with the, the, twi the twine because they're cuter. <laughs> All right, good. I'm glad you guys like that. We've got one more. What time is it? Oh, gosh, 3.05. Okay. This next one, I was pretty proud of myself. I, you know me. I got to come up with 3D projects. I'm going to search Amazon. I always go to Amazon. What is? There's no squirrel candy. There's no squirrel cookies. But what do squirrels eat? They eat nuts, right? Acorns, nuts. So I somehow stumbled onto um there's a squirrel brand nuts squirrel brand and this box is actually i did i am not the original designer of this um i saw this from krista at the crafty carrot in august look how that opens how fun right and i was like oh my gosh i have to make it and it just so happened that her measurements fit the squirrel brand nuts perfectly. Can you guys see right there? So on Amazon, I, I could see that they had the little snack size ones, but it was like $30 and I did, I just needed three of them. So I went, Googled it, 
and it said that they were sold at Starbucks. So I went to Starbucks and sure enough, they had them. So if you wanna make these, you can just go to Starbucks. I did link, I put a link to Amazon if you wanna see them or if you just, you need 30 of them. They have a really good flavor on Amazon. It was like creme brulee almonds or something. Something sounded really good. Um, Starbucks only had the fruit and nuts and then the classic almonds. So this one, I used um, shaded spruce to match the color on the bag. This time we're gonna use Night of Navy to match this one. These are a good healthy snack instead of candy for all your healthy friends who don't want you to give them candy. I, I, don't, I don't know who those people are, but <laughs> if you know those people, then you can give them a healthy snack. All right, let's make the box first. Let's make the box. Let me get all of my stuff out of the way. Now these measurements, there's quite a bit of measurements. You know, Kimberly says, OMG, you always find the perfect gifts. I kind of feel like now I have to find, you know, like I have to up the ante every time. I just knocked something off down there. I'm gonna have to find it. Like every time I'm like, okay, I gotta find even something cuter, something better. So I do all the legwork for you guys so you, you'll have cute snacks. It's kind of a fun challenge. All right, you're gonna need two full pieces of cardstock for this box. Um, and I'm using Night of Navy this time. So you're gonna get this one, um, seven by 11. And we're gonna score it at one inch and two inch on all four sides. So one and two, and then five and a half and six and a half is one and two on that side. So one and two, and then one and two from this side would be seven and a fourth and eight and a fourth. Okay, so that's the box part. And then you've got this other piece that is, let me look at my notes. This is all in the PDF right here. Um, seven and a half by, no, seven, that was seven and a half by nine and a fourth. This one is seven by 11. And we're gonna score, you know what? I have that mixed up. They need to be switched. If you've printed the PDF out already, you need to switch. Did I just mess that up? I messed it up. It's right on here, isn't it? Yep, okay. Rewind, rewind back. <laughs> this is correct. I'm just talking too much. We'll cut another piece of paper. So, on the first sheet, ignore everything I just said. On the first sheet, seven by 11, you're gonna score at one and two on all four sides. All right, so since this is 11, that would be 10 and nine. Turn it, one and two, and I thought that seemed weird, six and five. Okay, so now, look, see how that's gonna fit in there? All right, let me get another sheet of cardstock. What's the measurement on that second sheet? Seven and a fourth by nine and a half, let me look. Seven and a half by nine and a fourth. Hold on. Seven and a half, nine and a fourth. Okay, now this piece, see the size difference? The bigger one is for the box, the smaller one is for like the doors that are gonna go over your box. And on this one, seven and a half by nine and a fourth, we're gonna score just the long side at two and an eighth, four and an eighth, seven and a fourth, and eight and a fourth. Why doesn't that look right either? What's happening here? This isn't right. Was I looking at the wrong two and an eighth? You know what? Let's go back to the drawing board. Where's my note? Where are my notes? I did this yesterday and it was perfect. I think something's happening. Let's look at my notes. See, here are my notes. Three and an eighth. I, I did two and an eighth. Is it say two and an eighth? Okay, it does. Three and an eighth is what we need. Oh gosh. Another sheet of cardstock. If you printed out that um, PDF, you're gonna need to fix it. Seven and a half, nine and a fourth. Seven and a half. 
Where are my notes? I better not look at the typed notes. Seven and a half, nine and a fourth. <laughs> okay, let's try it. Third time's a charm, maybe? Three and an eighth. Four and an eighth. Seven and an eighth. And eight and... A f nope, seven and a fourth. I did it wrong again. Ah, we're going for it. We're going with it. Give me 10 minutes after this stupid video <laughs> to go fix that PDF. And then don't come back and watch Facebook Live to make your box. Go back and watch the clean recording because it was good. It was perfect. That's why I do the clean recordings so that I can make my mistakes over there where I can edit them. I don't know what's happening this week. I'm way, I'm, I'm backwards. All right, so this is what it looks like. It's gonna close up like that, okay? So we're gonna get uh, another different kind of designer series paper that I found. This is the Sweet Symmetry. Do, 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 where is my adhesive? Right here. Well, you'll have lots of 980 scraps. <laughs> That's for sure. I've got Knight of Navy scraps. I'll make y'all's tags, the make and take thank you tags out of Knight of Navy. Um, okay, so this is Sweet Symmetry Designer Series paper matted on Bumblebee cardstock. And I'm going to put that on this side like that and then here's our cork loving the cork it's very soft um, and it's very thin like regular paper it's not thick like craft cork that you might have bought in the past okay so there that's how it's gonna fold up like that now let's come over here to this part this box is a fancy box. That's what I call these boxes that have the lips that fold over. They make your box look really fancy. It gives you a smooth, um, rounded edge, which is nice. You gotta burnish all those lines. And now we're gonna cut out the Tetris corners. How many of you played Tetris? the corners that's all every time I have this I always think of Tetris on all four sides almost said on three sides on all four sides we're gonna cut out the three squares okay now if you're gonna cut it out in an L that's a little that's a little complicated but that would be the Tetris shape do they play Tetris anymore I was talking about that on my video recording I don't know if they play, if Tetris, I'm sure it's still out there, right? I liked Tetris. I'm not a video game person, but I do remember liking Tetris. All right, three squares on all four sides. Um, Catherine says the cork is so fun to work with. I agree. And you know, it's funny. I had to order a whole bunch for Club Create and I cut it and then I put it in a big stack and I was gonna use my industrial cutter on it and it was like a pillow, like spongy <laughs> and that didn't work. Yeah, I mean, it cuts beautifully one sheet at a time but if you have like a big stack of it, it does not cut like that, just FYI. All right, now go in on these four squares and cut off the corners so that your flap is like that. One thing I recommend if you're making a box is to get to the part where the box is done, pause the video, and copy it. Just look at yours and snip, snip, snip. Usually that makes more sense than watching me flip the paper around 100 times. But you're going to cut the corners off all the remaining tabs, even over here on these, the bigger ones. And the reason I do that is because I don't always cut straight on a score line. Sometimes I cut on the outside, like right here, that looks like a, it's not straight. And if you cut those corners off, that's gonna help your box just go together a little bit better. Maybe you don't have that problem. Maybe you cut yours perfectly, but I do not. Okay, that's where you would wanna pause the video. Boop, and then you could just cut. So now let's put it together. It's pretty easy to put together. It looks a little complicated, but it's not. I'm gonna put just a little bit of adhesive on the four squares. I'm gonna fold them in to the sides. I'm gonna pinch it just for a second because we're gonna, we're gonna fold these 
outside tabs in and we're gonna use our little clothespins. Okay, in we go. Boy, Facebook Friday is going long this week. I'm telling you right now, it's already 15 after and we still have to stamp in that squirrel. <laughs> and he's not just a simple little stamp. All right, so now this is what it looks like. A little bit of, well, that was probably a little bit more than I needed. Just a little bit of adhesive. Da, da, da. Da, da, da. And then fold these in. Grab your little clothespins from the Dollar Tree. Um, Donna, Donna says, why don't you use tear and tape for boxes? There's two reasons. One, I have found that, well, I don't know this to be true with tear and tape. I will tell you right now, I'm lazy. That's why. I mean, if I was probably, if I'm not making a video, I'm more likely to use tear and tape. But the other thing is that I found that my boxes don't ever pop open if I use Trombo. But given that, I don't use tear and tape that much. I would use Fast, uh, fast Fuse, remember Fast Fuse? And um, our Stampin' Seal Plus, I struggle with our Stampin' Seal Plus, which is our strong adhesive. It's user error, and I just can't get used to it. So that's kind of why I've switched over to the liquid glue. Several reasons. All right, let's stamp our squirrel. This time we're going to do, I wish I had left these on the plate, but oh well, I did not. Um, oh, we're going to do something different this time. Oh, no, no, that's the other project. <laughs> no, no. Never mind. The other project on Monday, the squirrel is holding a pumpkin. So we mask off, but we're not doing that this time. This time we're gonna just do him the way he was designed. Soft suede, doot doot. I almost grabbed it again, did you see that? Okay, trying to set an example for how you should appropriately clean your stamps before you grab them and put them in your case. Um, okay, now let's line this guy up again. If I had left this on my plates, we wouldn't have to go through all of this again because what you could do is put one on that side of the plate, one on the other side of the plate, and then they would be lined up perfectly every time. But I didn't do that. What were we talking about? I was too busy talking about something that had nothing to do with this, probably. This time, I'm doing cinnamon cider. I love cinnamon cider. It's beautiful. Okay. All right. Clean it. And you know what? I think for the sake of... Well, I don't really have a video. I mean, I don't have a small block. I was going to say, for the sake of the video, I'm just going to stamp these real fast. I don't care if they don't line up. But I'm going to do it the right way. I'm going to do it. What are you guys doing for your Friday night? Do y'all do things? Whoa, did you see that? There was like a scrap. Do you guys do things on Friday night? Fr Friday night is our, our takeout night. My husband picks up food on the way home from work. I cook almost every other night. So Friday nights, I'm like, eh. But I don't know. We're trying to be really good with our eating lately, and it's very hard. Now, did I lose? Nope, it's right here. It's very hard to eat out, get takeout, and stay within your caloric goal. <sighs> Last night, let's see, what am I doing? Last night, I had a bowl of cereal for, for dinner and I haven't done that in a thousand years and it was so delicious and I would highly recommend it. If I hadn't had that last night, I probably would tell my husband that's where we're having dinner tonight. <laughs> oh, well good. I'm glad you got to see the process. Yeah. It, you know, it is a process, but if you're, if you are mass producing, then, um, definitely leave it on. So you would put one on, stamp it, bloop, then take this, turn it off, turn it over with that other stamp here. And then line that one up, boop. And then that way you could stamp one, flip it over, stamp the next one, flip it over. And every time it's going to line up. That's the, really the beauty of our um, stamparatus. 
Friday's Bobby J's Burgers night for us. Donna, mm, I haven't had Bobby J's in a very long time. Texas Roadhouse. Oh, yes, that sounds delicious. Now, I could get a steak and some veggies and not do too bad. Steak and veggies. All right, I'm stamping the little uh, leaf in Bumblebee. And then there's an outline, or not an outline, a, uh, you know, the center of the leaves, a little vein. I'm going to do that. We're going to cut him out this time. No fuzzy cutting. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you to punch him out with a circle. Yay. And then we're going to grab the branch because we don't want him floating around in space. And there we have him. So now, last, we need to stamp the nuts about you. Ooh, hamburgers and fries at home. Kathy, that sounds delicious. Grilled hamburgers are the best. All right, nuts about you. We're gonna do something different this time with the words. All right, we're almost there, we're almost there. Let me bring over, uh-oh, hold on. I don't wanna lose that. Let me bring this guy over. We're using another circle this time. I haven't already lost it. We're gonna cut him out with a circle, layering circle, squirreled in space. Now that would be funny. We've got a space stamp set we could use for that. All right, frame him up, cut him out. And I'm gonna layer him onto this um, cinnamon cider circle, scallop circle. And I really couldn't figure out how I wanted to do these words. So I could, you know, I couldn't find anything to cut it out that I liked. So I decided we're just gonna cut the words apart. You know, this reminds me of, remember when we were kids and we would cut words and letters out of magazines? That's what this reminds me of. <laughs> and that's kind of the look, kind of a, you know, not real nice and neat, just kind of silly, kind of crooked and fun. So nuts about you. And then get your many dimensionals, if you can find them. Put them right here nuts about oh no that's the you nuts about you there we go you can see kind of like wonky like that all right we are ready to finish our box and i'm excited to see this one in navy because the other two i did were in green let's put in our nuts our squirrel brand nuts right there and then i'm just gonna take my stamp and seal and set that down now one thing krista did on hers is she made a cute little tag and put on the inside like here like there was a little tag sitting on top of the i can't even remember what she put inside hers which i thought would be cute too a little stamp tag and you could write a little message all right, so see how that goes on? You would hear that in, and you wrap that and fold that and close the door, and then you get your ribbon, and you tie it closed. Now, you guys, use any brand of nuts if you want. I mean, this box wasn't designed specifically for these, and it fit perfect. So you could fill this up with some trail mix or, I mean, maybe some... Peanut M&M's. <laughs> Those have nuts in them. And they're probably yummier than almonds. I only eat almonds when I am like really dieting. <laughs> when I'm really desperate for my jeans to fit again, is only, that's when I eat almonds. Okay, I am clipping this little tag to the bow and we are done. I like the blue. I love blue and yellow. So here's the green and there's the blue. What do you guys think? So cute and a totally different box design, something I've never done before. What do you guys think? Fun, right? Okay, we made it. It only took me an hour and a half to get here. <laughs> but you have three projects, three ways to use your nuts about chew. And let me give you a sneak peek. Let me grab the one 
from, that's going to be on Monday, the Twinkie box. And it's a slider box. Look at him, he's holding pumpkins. So come back Monday, there's a video tutorial for that. And I'll have photos and measurements and all of that on my blog on Monday. Now remember, if you want these three make and takes sent to you for free, make sure your order, $35 minimum, is put in by Monday at midnight. Um, there's a link on my blog you can click to go over to the Stampin' Up! website. It should automatically put that host code in your order. Um, and I guess that's it. I hope you guys have a great weekend. Next um, Friday is, I can't remember, the, the new pumpkin set. I can't remember what it's called. I was going to do a class with that, but I realized I'm running out of time because bleh, by the time you got it, it would almost be Christmas. And all. So we're doing a Facebook Friday. All right? All right. I will see you guys next Friday. And let me know if you have questions. Make sure you go get that PDF. Um, give me five minutes to change that one measurement. Needs to say three and an eighth. All right? Thanks, guys, for joining me. I appreciate it. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye.